Today I have an 11 by 37 inch board that I had around the house. And I'm gonna paint it using Snow Owl by Wise Owl using my S50 Klingon brush and I'm gonna give it two coats. I have these letters, you can get them at any craft store. And I'm gonna cut out the letters that I need for my project. I'm gonna give everything a quick sanding to have a nice smooth finish. But I'm first gonna start by creating two pin lines so that my board looks like it's planks. Just an artificial way to give that plank look. And I'm just gonna use some blue tape to create my thin line. And make sure you measure so it's all even. And you can either use chocolate paint, black paint, or a stain. Today I'm gonna to use chocolate paint. And I'm just using a Gen Foam brush. And then you're just gonna lift your tape and there you're gonna have your lines. Make sure your lines are dry. And then you're gonna give a quick sanding just to blend everything together. Makes it look a little bit more natural. I'm then taking a chip brush, which is just a very inexpensive, cheap brush from most hardware stores and just creating some uh, dimension and some antiquing by putting the chocolate paint in a dry brush style. Those are my favorite brushes to uh, dry brush with as their bristles are very cheap and random and it just helps give a, a, a good look and uh, sometimes that's be cheap is better than a nice brush when it comes to dry brushing, in my opinion. So now I'm laying out my letters, making sure I'm measuring that they're all even. And you want to really lay these down good with tape as they're smaller and more mobile. And also so that uh, you don't get paint around the letters because I'm going to use a, a roller. You can use a dabber or a roller. And again, I'm gonna use the chocolate paint just so everything matches nicely. The key with stenciling is to make sure you have a very uh, light amount of paint so you don't get any bleed through. And then I lift my tape right away. Using an art brush, I'm connecting all my letters. This is not necessary, just personal preference. I'm gonna make sure everything's nice and dry, and I'm gonna give everything another quick sanding. Again, sanding is not necessary. I know you guys ask a lot. It just, to me, makes everything blend nicely together. I found this sunflower at Dollar General for a dollar. And they're quite cheap. I was able to just pull the uh, the the uh, stick it was standing on. It was for a yard a yard display. I just pulled it right off. And I'm using E6000 and getting the glue on the petals, and then applying some hot glue just for a quick uh, adhesion while the E6000 dries. I also think this would look cute with two sunflowers. I only had one on hand, so that's an option too. This is Bloom. Going back with some chocolate paint. I had Jamie make me on the Cricut some more stencils. So this is gonna say, Bloom where you're planted.
And then once that's dry, I'm gonna take some salve and my two inch palm brush. And I'm gonna apply it all over my board. This is basically a wipe on, a wipe off. This is just another option for a top coat. The salve comes in either unscented or scented. There's a lot of nice scents to choose from. Salve can be used for leather. It can be used to condition any wood surface. And this I'm gonna do two coats, but you wanna make sure you have dry time in between your coats. I usually wait overnight. It's basically a wipe on and buff off. All these products can be found at chalkitupfancy.com. And here you have this nice bloom board. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you'd like to see other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. And we now have all our videos right on our webpage, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you so much.